Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 17th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we've had no major solar events since our last update a couple days ago. But definitely watching some solar prominence dancing around the northern hemisphere of the sun. And as well, sunspot groupings cresting in. Watching here the last 48 hours incoming very tall plasma filaments erecting from the surface, swirling around. And as well, a little plasma explosion there on the sun incoming. First couple images still coming in looking here the last 48 hours outgoing a couple of minor solar flares another close look here at that plasma filament in the northern hemisphere as it rolled right across the surface of the sun and then watch in the top left hand side there big plasma ejection Multi-spectrum here showing the last 48 hours of events. Strongest event was a C-class solar flare. And no more coronal mass ejections thwarted our way. Coronal hole. Turning away and one in the southern hemisphere getting ready for Earth facing. We've already seen the increase in solar winds. And as well, geomagnetic activity from the most recent X-class solar flare. 171 angstroms here, pretty active regions that are incoming. You can see the umbral fields around them. And we have eight sunspot regions right now that we're looking at. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected and as well G1, so level one geomagnetic storm. Solar winds are coming in right now at 539 kilometers per second. Looking here at the solar X-ray flux flare class, we did have that strong M class reported two days ago. Strong C class yesterday, long duration, and a couple minor ones today. Solar proton flux was up past a level one, and geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5. Now let's have a look at the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center spiral here as they included yet another CME behind those CMEs that were shot out towards us. Earth-facing solar flare producing the coronal mass ejection. But watch one, two, and then three. So there were three coronal mass ejections and coupled with that huge solar storm. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction, this is the most recent spiral showing activity coming in for the 20th and the 21st. And then looking at LASCO 2, you can see a small uh, comet come into the view of our sun. Multiple CMEs, but nothing thwarted our way. Just some amazing images here. So grateful to be a witness to these times. Thank you to all the accredited researchers and developers. And of course, NASA. And thank you for watching. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. As we're sitting about 200 earthquakes, so slightly below average. Largest being the 5.7 here in Tadine, New Caledonia. Deepest being a 4.6, 581 kilometer depth, Fiji region. Minor activity right across Indonesia and up into the Philippines, quieting down compared to what it has been recently. 4.5 there, Marianas Trench, and as well 4.5, 4.6 off the coast of Japan. Notable activity up into Alaska, Port Allsworth, Alaska, reporting a 4.7 today. North American Plate. Most notable are the earthquakes happening at Mentone, Texas, largest being 3.9 magnitude, as well as 4.4 there, Cocos Plate into Ecuador. 
or Guatemala, I mean, and as well, Colombia reporting a 4.5. Quiet across the European plate, only reporting one 4.2 in Turkey and as well a 4.9 here in Somalia. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. As we've seen a lot of activity at Philippines recently and as well lots of deep activity in Fiji. Notable activity all across Indonesia up into the Indian plate where we had that large eruption at Merapi volcano. Notable activity in the northern hemisphere, Rank Jane's Ridge, and on the other side of Iceland, Norwegian Sea. But multiple deep earthquakes this this week, and we haven't really seen the large magnitude to follow, so heads up, especially across the west coast of the United States. Just have a sneaking suspicion. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated. As we've had extreme weather breaking out across Miami and all up the east coast of the United States. Watch for that to continue. Winter storms across the Pacific Northwest. And we've got Ibu in Indonesia. Santa Maria in Guatemala. Sabancaya in Peru. Stormy and flood conditions across Africa still. Got Fuego, Guatemala, Sangue in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Obinas in Peru, Popa Picatitl in Mexico, Dokono in Indonesia, Mayan in the Philippines. So yeah, that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the, I'm guessing, at least 45 of volcanoes that are active and erupting. I think it's time for a volcanic activity report and planetary positions. So stay tuned for that coming soon. Having a look here, satellite imagery from around the world. Low pressure system sweeping across the southern continent of Australia. Tropical system here developing east of the Philippines. Tropical storm Jalawat, Jalawal, yeah, Jalawa, yeah, Jalawal is alive. And then overlooking Africa and Europe, big high pressure ridge building across North Africa and through the Mediterranean. So nice clear days ahead of you. But atmospheric river of moisture will be flooding from the north coming into the United Kingdom. Now let's get to air quality brought to you by our erupting volcanoes around the world. Big plumes coming out of Mexico from Popopacatitl and as well through Guatemala. Line of volcanoes there that are active. Big SO2 plumes coming off of Kamchatka, Eastern Russia. And as well, uh, North Sumatra, Merapi Volcano. And then it looks like we've had a pretty big eruption at Mount Etna. Showing some pretty large SO2 plumes swirling down into parts of North Af Africa into that huge high pressure ridge. Now let's get to weather here overlooking Europe and Africa first. Daily evaporation rains through Africa, but not as frequent as they have been the last couple weeks. High pressure ridge moving in, low pressure system through the Mediterranean for the 20th, and then a big system comes in from the north, set to bring in some moisture and some low pressure systems developing through the Atlantic, getting ready to funnel in for the long range. 25th and 26th, but still not much of a white Christmas across Europe. 
The same with Canada. We're seeing abnormally warm temperatures. I mean, does it have anything to do with the 11 million hectares that were almost that were almost burned across Canada? It has to be. All that heat and carbon was injected right into our northern hemisphere. Having a look at weather models here, extreme weather sweeping up the United States and into the Atlantic Canada. Big Pacific low developing for the long range just around Christmas time. Looks like the west could see some snow, but the east is going to be locked in a high pressure ridge. Long range, low pressure system there. There is possibly a chance of some snow on the backside, but still abnormally warm temperatures. Wanted to point out these systems coming into Alaska and northern BC over the next few days. Strong winds, heavy snowfall warnings will be associated with all these systems coming through. Big one in the long range here, 26th. That thing stretches almost right across the Pacific Ocean. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Tropical cyclone Jalawal will sweep across the Philippines. Australia dealing with three low pressure centers this week that will be lingering around the northern hemisphere, or sorry, the northern territory of Australia. And then eventually, one more low moves in for a rake down the east coast of Australia. And these systems will eventually be tracking down into New Zealand. Low pressure center affecting you in the 20th to the 22nd. Then the next low moves in. Hope you enjoyed the show today, everybody. Much love. Stay safe out there, safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. 